So I've written this march, and as you can see, it's in a short score using piano notation, and it gets pretty dense uh, in places. A lot of notes on, uh, on the staff. So I'm pretty interested in wanting to format this to get the best display I can. And this uh, will apply to a lot of other kinds of scores, of course. But in this kind of a situation, we re really want to know exactly how we can uh, move things around so I can visually not get too cluttered up. The first thing that we want to do is look at handles. So we'll go to show, option sh show handles, and you'll see all the handle grab points will be displayed in the score that you can click on and move around to better format things. First thing you can do is grab a measure handle. Every measure has one, and that's really nice because uh, it allows you to finely format you know, the size of the measure. A second kind of handle you can grab is at the beginning, and that'll allow you to indent your uh, score, your systems, if you want. And then you have some handles at the end that you can grab to move you know, the whole thing around or uh, grab individual you know, systems, move them around, uh, and you know, grab individual uh, parts and stays around. Very, very uh, useful. And you can go through and do that, you know, throughout your whole score. You also notice here that there are some blue lines that are displayed that show you the distance between your systems and how they're laid out. That can also be changed. What you want to do there is go to uh, Close Score Layout and go to the engraver page and that'll allow you to change the spacing of almost anything in your score to give very fine engraving possibilities. But the options that you want to most be concerned with for formatting these dense scores are the spaces between the staves and the systems and the groups. And if it turns out that you have just way too, too dense a score, you can increase things. So here I've got things set to 10, uh, the systems between uh, spaces between systems set to 10. Let's set that to 12. And you just kind of have to play around to know what these numbers really mean. And once you do that, all right, things will um, change. If they don't, what you want to do is go to score and respace staves. You can do that for a staff. Uh, the system or the entire score. Let's do the entire score and you can say, yeah, well, and here things uh, really uh, changed. Uh, you can see on this second page, the distance between the two didn't really change that much, but because uh, Witcher 5 tries to format the page, right, it, it'll try and distribute things evenly in here. And if you don't like that, like we said before, you can just take, grab one of your handles and move things around. There are also options that uh, will not try and distribute everything throughout the whole page. There's so many options here. You can do almost anything you like. So there's a way that, that you can get more space between things. Uh, you can also increase the space between the staves. If I don't like eight, let's you know, set that to something uh, much larger. And then again, we can go and score respace staves. I can do that for the whole system. Again, this I can move around, but now I can see when I go, I've got more space between my staves. One thing I did notice that when you start respacing things around, um, you, Overture 5 apparently doesn't totally re-space everything correctly, you have to sometimes actually click on um, a measure 
on a note and things will resize to what you really want. I think that's a bug and I've reported it. Right? So that's another very useful thing that you can do to format your, your scores. Now, in terms of the actual laying things out, Overture 5 is really nice because it allows you to grab almost anything, not just the, the, the handles here. You can uh, grab, you know, individual slurs and you can move them around if, if, if notes need to be uh, adjusted and a slurs in the way of something, you can, you know, very finely move it around. Very intuitive. Uh, same thing goes for um, your your beaming, and uh, I can change beams very easily by just grabbing and moving. I can also change beam direction because there's a handle on each end of the beam, so I can finally adjust things internally here to allow me to get my note spacing and dense scores just the way I like it with a very intuitive system that allows exact placement of every object, basically, in your score. Finally, uh, I don't want this to go on too long. I've done one other thing here. You can turn an option on in Overture. If you have a third stave with not that many uh, notes on it in the score, which I have here. I have another part that just comes in, say, at this point. Um, but I don't want to have that empty staff displayed all over the place. Um, you have options to turn the display of empty uh, stays on and off. What I can do is, uh, and it turns it on and off from a point where you are in the score, so I can, let's just go to the beginning here. Let me go to score. Um, and now I'm going to go to hide shows staves. And there's some options here. You can uh, hide and show things. What I want to do is show the remaining empty staves of uh, piano three. And if I click done there, all of a sudden that third piano part becomes visible for my whole score. But of course, I really don't want that. It's kind of an eyesore, and I'm wasting uh, space on the page, which also will allow me, if I don't have that, to put more systems on a page. Very nice. So there's just a few of the things. There's more, um, but that just gives you a taste of the flexibility of Overture 5 for formatting which I think is quite nice, intuitive, and lets me do just about everything I need to do.